Mr. Speaker, the, the Prime Minister is correct when he indicated that um, he made the pronouncement from April in the budget. Um, and when these um, bills came to the House, the, the, the question I must ask the Prime Minister is whether from the time of the pronouncement, the kind of consultation that was engaged in, because um, I, I'm thinking and of the view that some of the matters that have been raised at this point, it may mean that there were insufficient or an absence of consultation. And, and so that is the concern I'm having because we, we've seen some amendments here, there are going to be come, amendments coming lower and also in the bills. And you know we've seen amendments in previous house sittings and I'm sure there will be many more to follow. As he rightfully indicated, it's quite a bit and things will, 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 will come up over, over um, various periods. But some of them, for example, when we speak to the packaging material for manufacturers, I would think that that would have been a very, you know, um, basic um, uh, um, 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 insight that should have been um, included from, from the, the get-go. So the question is whether or not, um, you know, these, these consultations were had and were sufficient, sufficient enough. Um, as a matter of fact, only this morning, and, and Mr. Prime Minister, maybe the the AG could, 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 could consult with customs personnel as we debate it so that you can find out if I'm correct. But only this morning I, I, I got the information that um, coated galvanized, or maybe the colored galvanized, was not included. In the, in, in, and so, no, it, apparently not, because um, there the, 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 the was um, a, a conflict in terms of that. So just to double check the codes and see if it is, if it is included. Um, I, I think I got it from a, a, a very good source to, to indicate that. So I just want to, to double check um, on, on that. Um, but you know, this, this, Mr. Prime Minister continuously uses um, hatred and hungry for power. And, and, and you know, it's unfortunate that such statements have been made because I'm of the view that, you know, the words are being switched around to, to rather indicate our kind of politics, which is unfortunate, because that's the kind of politics whenever an opposition power, the kind of politics that is being played, you know? And I, it is wrong. I, 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 no, I, we're not going there. I'm not speaking about that. I'm not speaking about that. He's not, he's not a member. He's not a member of the, I, who, who was at the convention? Come on, stop speaking. Stop speaking. No, no, no. We have a politics, and I, we spoke about the New Day. We have to change a lot of things going forward. Okay, because what is being preached in this country right now is very unfortunate. Especially, you know, we have we have young people who who who, who, who on the on the turn of a switch, you know, they can act anyway. And I think it's very important, you know, that a different conversation is being held to particularly our younger people. And we need to stop some words. We need to stop some words. It has nothing to do with convenience because you've never heard you've never heard um, me speak any, any way otherwise. So, Mr. Speaker, um, I recognise that the amendments will have to be made, um, uh, uh, and um, obviously, uh, a lot of it is for the benefit of of the general population. And so, uh, Mr. Speaker, I welcome the amendments that have been made this morning. Thank you. This afternoon. Uh, this afternoon.